it's a reflection of the politics of today, of the things that we place emphasis on, of things that, in my view, should be in the background, mm. of things that do not add any value to our work as MPs. I'm, 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 I'm disappointed. Mm. I think that those are not the things that should take the front stage when we're discussing parli parliament. Mm. And you're disappointed as in it doesn't matter who is on the majority side and who is not? It does. It does. But why are we um, behaving as we're doing when in the past, in the previous three parliaments I've been in, such matters are discussed in, indoors at the leadership level. Mm. How is now playing out in the open? with whipping members to be agitated and showing off their machoism. What, will that, what, what value does that serve? What or who could be responsible for that? I'm not interested in what or who. It is reflecting badly on parliament. Mm. What we should do. Is, as for having controversy, it has always been with parliament. The reason parliament is called parliament because they're a reflection of the various shades of ideas mm -hmm. in the country. And it is expected, it is natural, that members of parliament will often disagree. Is what we see today uh, a failure on leadership or of leadership? Well, I do not intend to make any value judgment on leadership, but for me, we are moving away from the values of parliament, how parliament had run over the years. Um, We are demonstrating the worst part of us. Even in the past, there have always been significant differences between the minority and the majority. It is at this time that we have almost, almost equal members. That the worst part of us is manifesting. But it may be also a reflection of the times. Mm. I regret to observe and the speaker has made that observation. I think there are too many young people in parliament now. Too many young people. The older you grow, the more drama doesn't appeal to you. You want results. And getting results means focusing on the critical things. There's too much drama. There's been, in fact, different interpretations by different speakers. I was one of the people who entered parliament as um, an independent member. Then I contested on the, t I, I filed on the ticket of NPP in 2012. The speaker then didn't even invite me to say anything because he said he thought what I had done was toward the next parliament. So nobody asked me any question. Mm. Right. I mean, so it was, if it was not a problem then, why should it be a problem today? Well, and there are several other examples. Absolutely. So I think that a final pronouncement by the Supreme Court will put the matter to, to a rest. Could this also be because your side in Parliament, the NPP caucus, is overplaying its hand in this? How? I don't see hands being played. Well, they, they, they lost the majority after the speaker's pronouncement. Perhaps yeah. they could have just taken it in good strides. Really? Even if it is unconstitutional in your view? That's my view.